Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shabnam781 and today we're playing some more Game of Thrones. Right, we're just where we left off where we had a little conversation slash argument with um, Lord Whitehill and he sounded very pissed. So, yeah. Um, so now Lord Forrester, uh, Lady Forrester, sorry. Um, she says we have to warn or send a raven to Myra. I think that's her daughter or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Ironwood box. What's in there? So, uh, let's look at the young Kish coin. Ash has sent me this coin to remember him. Hmm. What a strange place, Essos. Thought so. High garden brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Who's that? Belonged to Lady Elena. What's in the book? What's the book? Carved Nobody ironwood. Me. I mean, not the book. This carved ironwood tree. Then that leaves this unfinished letter. Let's read it. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. Hmm. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Well, you are far away from home, and your dad's dead now, so what can I say? Hmm. Could I eat some fruit? Coal brazer. Isn't there any coal in there? I'm guessing not. These graphics are fucking horrendous. And they're out of thingy. Wonders made by Focus. Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Hmm. Read it. <laughs> I hope to see them all someday. Ah, uh, maybe in heaven, yeah. What's this letter from mother? Ha, <laughs> what the fuck was that? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hold the fuck on, bitch. One moment. Knocked or run. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, I let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Poor child. Oh, sorry for you. Pardon the lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'd rather not it's say. Private. I'd rather not say. Yeah. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. It's all right. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Oh, he has a scar on his head. You work for Lady Marjorie? I like this kid. Maybe wrong. But it seems like you do. 
I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Mm -hmm. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Is that a bad they thing? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Hmm. Well... You're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night. I mean, good night! You know. Hello, bitch. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. What is it? My lady. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. Mm -hmm. I feel your pain as if it were my own. Thank you. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. <clears throat> but there's another matter we must attend to first. Who are you, bitch, in the background? You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside. Who the fuck are you, fuckers? Look ugly. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. Why? She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't know. But apology. It's called a slap. Now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her no. what she wants to hear. What? So that I'm a traitor. I'm a bitch. Let's see if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Milady? Are you ready? What the fuck are you looking at, bitch? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may are you my lover? Thing, but you must Take my hand. <laughs> Good luck. You sound. You say like I'm never gonna make it out alive. Like she's gonna fucking eat me or something. What a massive room for just one throne. Thank you. Can we go now? You can do this. Hopefully. Oh, we're in. Hello there. How would you like to do? Huh, bitch? How are you walking faster? <gasps> it's him. Oh, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? I can't remember his name. Fuck. There you go. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Bow your head. Your grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Suck an ass. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? 
I think so, Perhaps bitch. Ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Get to the one true. To the one true king. The one true king. Yes, she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, I'm Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any loyalty at all? Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Oh shit, no. Didn't mean to press that. No doubt she's speechless in your presence, your grace. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Yes. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It Could you help us? To see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Oh, shit. See. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? Not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we hey. fault her for her mistake? Should she I have... be held accountable? No. I will judge you. Her, your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't place her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flip through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. So? Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm Whatever. sure she Let would... the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict. Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I'm just gonna say this. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Fuck you. She is a threat to the crowd, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you if I may. Are you gonna help or not? Your grace. But not kill her. I'll walk you out. If you're fast enough. Come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Hmm. Even then, he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. Hmm. 
We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. I bet. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? Yep. Well, I'll consider. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three and I mean... beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Oh, shit. Just be careful. This is not the north. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yes. Good night, my lord. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. <laughs> Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> That'd be fun. Let's see. But, you know. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. <laughs> Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The yeah, it's the woman. was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. Why should go kill herself? I'm just glad it's over. 
Yeah, but going back to what you said, men are Seems somewhat powerful. Yeah, but it's the women's it's mind. Could you shut the something. fuck up? It's the women's mind. I'm fucking pausing out there. Anyway, I'm gonna say something now. So yeah, be men think they're the strongest and all this shit, but it's also that the women's mind, like, it comes up with strategies and shit in it. Um, strategies and the the women are always smart about these things. And the thing is, they don't get their say, they don't get their part or anything, they don't get credit or anything. Like, it's kind of sad at some point. Like, it's messed up in it. So. Yeah, to be honest, women have, like in these days, in Game of Thrones and shit, how they have wars every, like, ne nearly every two fucking minutes. Um, it's like, women have secret talents. They could have these, like, war strategies and some shit. They know how to do everything, like, from just their mind, just from, like, looking at a, a, a field of ground and stuff that they would fight on they already know they would literally be like this like that and they think of a plan because they just like that they just like that in the old days hmm do you agree I strongly fucking agree you're nice bro once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. I know from the start. You must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank Bro, you, my lady. I'd stick up for my family. Something on my mind. Something important. I'm asking her for help. I... I did have a favour to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Okay. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Mother needs our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you. And I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Please, I'll be Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I should I have just said my it. Family safety. I don't want to be the last one in it, so I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Hmm. Don't say your mother insists well. again. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank oh, you, thank Lord. fuck. I will send a raven to my family at once. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that takes a load off my mind. Okay, now. I'm very thankful. I should have said I'm in your debt or something. But still, it worked out. Wagwam. Wolfswood. 
The fuck was that? They're gonna get fucking bit, you dumb fucking animal. Seven hells. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What are those oh. bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Oh, I don't. How much further is it? these foresters uh, a day my lord two at most what was that my lord Shh. listen there hear that I know I heard something Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Oh, thank God. Yeah, fuck off now. <clears throat> My God. It's so fucked up. Sir, hello. Sir? What oh, looks X Factor? <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, and L. He's still alive, any? Oh no, I thought he was gonna fucking black. Ah! You know he's gonna scare me. Let's get this. Sh this is where Ethan's gonna get taught. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are hmm. those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Yep. But. Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Jump. No, I'm joking. You heard the tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, <coughs> Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back <coughs> the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, <clears throat> like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. Hmm. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. <laughs> Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I'm saying Garrett, bro. He's the protector. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Missed. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? 
This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Okay, I don't know. fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Thank Eric you. We're supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks She's true. Right. I've got family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Shut up or you get all get punished. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Thank you. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. That is true, I gotta be strict. But I gotta be defensive and shit, so... I will decide. Send him to the wall. Shake his fingers. If you punish me... You'll be punishing an innocent man. It would be an injustice, my lord. Not really. Please. Because you stole from us. My lord. My family depends on me. I'm saying send him to the wall. Take three fingers, but then... That's gonna fuck him up. Um, send him to the wall, I don't know what that will do. But then show him mercy, which means he's still alive. So, I'm gonna be the chance person and take send him to the wall. Sentence you to the wall where you will join the night's watch. Oh, please, my lord! My so, yes, yeah, that's, that's kind of so thingy die. him. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. Yeah, you gotta keep your you city you safe, innit? Your house safe. This sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. I need a second opinion, that's what I need. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. I trust the small council. But Maester. That is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is true. Why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. Yeah. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Thank you. Like, I do trust that guy. I, I. What's this? Enter. No. What's. No.
Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there Fuck. are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. That's what's necessary to keep the house safe. Then we must. Aye, a hard choice. But it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. Thank you. I want to talk to you, Doug. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. No, I gotta... I got no, no, I don't want to give him braces to so... Wh wh where's... Where's my main man? Malcolm. So... Malcolm. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. No, Uncle. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. Yes. If you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with you, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Royland? He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna talk to her. Don't fucking grab me. Mother Joking. told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Of course. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. Hmm. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the war without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? He can't. Ethan, please. Tell me. I... I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I hmm. know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank <laughs> you.
Sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I didn't know dogs Sir, could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Um, how are defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. I'm going to talk to yes, him again. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garen to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being a sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. True, so, true. When will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm thinking of Sir Reynolds to be it because, yes, well, Duncan is good, he gives good advice, but the thing is, Sir Royland, that's it, Sir Royland, sorry. Um, he's more of a warrior, yet I might have more of an understanding of war and something like that. And, you know, he, he's, a, he's, well, he's a warrior. He knows the place, everyone knows him. He's know, he know, they know what he's capable of, and he is powerful. He can bring up our defenses um, against the uh, White Hill. Um, so I think I'm gonna give Sir Royland the bracelet. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give him the bracelet. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Royland. Thank you, my lord. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council man to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengrin to do it at once. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. I think I've made my um Maester. thing clear. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yeah. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once.
Hmm. Look, guys. I'm sorry. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Royland. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. There you go, right see. Before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? Don't panic. We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. Stop, you big. Be this is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd yeah. like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is, and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Yes, mother. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. Well, it's it depends if he wants a war. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons iron wood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Um, diplos diplomacy, um, I don't know, well, bargaining, I don't want to give all my ironwood away, and I don't want to fight, because then, they might come with the, that guy, come from his fucking name now, oh yeah, Whitehill, um, and the other guy, so I do not know, hold on, hold on, give me, Um, um, so if we fight, it might cause a bigger problem. Um, however, it might, I think it might give us a chance to get our allies in and set up our camps or whatever, set up our strategy. So that is, that is a consider, a consider, considerable option. Bargain, we could, but you know we might not be left with anything they might steal stuff you never know um diplomacy huh diplomacy we could go for diplomacy um i'm saying we i think We'll do it. Well, I think we'll do. It. We will use diplomacy. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow, 
I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. Yeah. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Yes. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Do you want to lose your title? Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. Exactly, thank you, mother. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you as we served your father. Thank you, Duncan. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face. Lord yes. To Lord. Ramsay yes. No, he's no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. No, 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 no. As you gaze upon Ironrath, and when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I'm gonna invite him to the Great Hall. Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You're I swear. To ruin. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Sit. Respect my decision. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. <laughs> no matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord. Thank you. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Thank you. Because we did say we have to make a, ne a negotiation in it. We don't want to fight. That's what I'm saying. Can't you fight now. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Yes. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Yes. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. Yeah. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. And what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Mm. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help. You exiled him? Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> nice. Your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Yet I'm the lord. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Exos. Send him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone right there. Oh. We're gonna leave all that decision making there. Um, yeah, that oh, was a tense little part there. See me has to make up a bunch of fucking thingies, um, uh, options, decisions. Um, so you know to protect the house. 
Um. So yeah. Well, we gotta do but what's best for the house. We can't just say, oh yeah, let's make a negotiation. But I've got my men here just to just for protection and show you how how much of big assholes we are, and we're not afraid to fight. So we can't do that. We have to actually negotiate and you know have them be by our side. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there then. <laughs> I'm just... My head is banging because of all that plumbing decisions. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, uh, smash the like button. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.